And welcome back to a Gator Snapper playthrough of Monster Hunter World, where this, these next two episodes are definitely not going to be a podcast like the last two. So a quick little explanation, other than the one that I put at the beginning of the last two episodes. Uh, the reason why that shit happened was because I was recording it like normal, but my <laughs> game was in full screen mode. And I alt-tabbed over, I always, always make sure to alt-tab over to OBS to make sure it's actually recording. And any time I would alt-tab over... For all intents and purposes, it looked like it was recording, because it would only show the image in the little screen, the preview screen, that was re uh, recording it. It would only show it once I'd alt-tabbed over. I don't know why, but that's what is happening. So every time I'd alt-tab back over to the game, because it was in full screen mode, it was recording nothing but a black screen. So that's this time I made sure it's not going to happen, because we're in back in windowed mode. So yeah, good deal. Uh, we kind of missed out on seeing how the, the normal lance worked. Can't say visually anyone was missing much. My description of it in the video is, I guess, more than enough. I don't know, maybe. But now we're on the Iron Gun Lance. I really don't want to be stuck on the Iron Gun Lance, but there's no place to upgrade my weapons here. And I think for now I can't go back to Astera. I probably can, but I'm not going to worry too much about it because this mission we're doing here is very straightforward and simple. No, we're just going into the Rotten Vale, ready to descend into the Rotten Vagina. That's that's right, I forgot we were calling it that. Alright, yeah, let's let's depart to that Rod Vagina. First, we need to look for a place to touch down. Mm. Once we need our destination, you may depart and make camp preparations. Make sure to aim for the landing strip. That's where you'll be guided. Alright, this is getting a little weird. Then it's back to usual. Or the, the, the. Are you okay, ma'am? It's sorry, it's, it's all the opium. It's back to the usual order of business. Find Azura Magdros' trail. Because that's what this whole game's about, right? It's like all of Act 1, I'd say. And then Act 2 is different. Kind of like Nergi Gante specific. And then we gotta work on Elder Dragon. I don't know, something like that. Now I want you to pay close attention. While you're down there, think long and hard. You know, while you're in the rotten vagina. <laughs> I'm really not appreciating your, your sense of humor, ma'am. What is the rotten vagina and how does it connect to the core highlands? <laughs> You couldn't have come up with a fucking witty fucking innuendo name for Coral Highlands? No, get out of here. Alright, you got it. God, editing the conversations with uh, the character and the fucking third fleet master was such a pain in the ass. And I know for a fact, looking back uh, on that footage, it wasn't very good. It was like cut and stretched in a way where like me reading the lines of dialogue always was like i don't know the video i i, I took cutscenes from just like somebody's posting of like e e monster hunter world every cutscene that's where i got all my footage from i don't know if i sh i haven't uploaded that video yet i don't know if i should maybe like give credit to it i probably should i'll i'll try to remember to do that i'll make sure to remember to do that Oh, this is a beautiful cutscene. But yeah, um, yeah, stretching that fucking. Oh, God, stretching, like, all the dialogue to work with that was such a pain in the ass. Uh, it looks nice. I like this rotten vagina. We found the entrance to it. Are those your, like, binocular glasses? I have your normal ass glasses, I'm sure. Uh huh. That's all you have to say, huh? What is this? Oh, 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 what a nice, pleasant sound. Alright, making touchdown. Right? God damn, this is such a, like,. I would not want to be, like, piloting or on the thing, like, uh, the object being piloted into this, like, narrow hole in the ground. Seems like a good way to re-crash the ship. It's amazing we only needed the one Paolumu for, like, this whole fucking operation to work out. Seems like we had to hunt, like, a lot more for their, like, neck skin. Their neck membrane. Hello, oh, it's a great Kiros, one of the least memorable monsters in this game. Right after the great Jagras. Except, at least great Jagras, they made, like, the greatest Jagras. Great Heroes has got, like, nothing going for him. Although, there is a thing on Expeditions where you're kind of incentivized to kill the monsters. What are you doing, Handler? You're not a hunter. Okay, good. Give it... We could have could have done a lot of different things here. Alright, yeah, get out of here. Fire bad. Go, ho go home, wild animals. Handler, that would have been a great way for you to die. Alright. Well... Well, that's pretty fucking mean of you to say, Handler. All right, calm down there. Yeah, the little pyromaniac. I thought you just loved food. Go back to just liking food. You're less scary that way. All right, what's the deal? Sight of Great Gyros, investigate the Ronvero. Cool. Easy shit. Good re- Man, I don't know. I- Oh, 
Study of the monster we just ran into. Cool. All I have to do is spot them. It's kind of recommended to kill them as you do these missions. I think that's why What's Her Face was disappointed when I didn't kill a Tsitsi Yaku, but I don't fucking care. Fuck her. I'm doing my own thing here. Oh, hey, we already got a little cutscene going on here. I hate the Rotten Veil, vale, by the way. Well, I don't hate it. It's just... Ugh. It's gross. It's gross, and it's... It's... No, it's not boring, but there's something... It's just because there's, there's not enough color in it for me. Well, if you go to the lower areas, there's a colorful space, but for the most part, it's all this, like, nasty flesh and gray color. It's pretty nasty. Oh, and effluvium. Always effluvium. Uh, and if they touch it, they go crazy. Good shit. All right, well, all I have to do, I think, is see the Great Gyros and then go to the bottom so I see Zora Magdara's trails. So, easy stuff. I think the Great Gyros is just down here, too. And since I'm doing just an expedition here and I won't have too much of a good chance to use my uh, new gun lance here. Uh-huh. Fire shells. Neat. That's cool. I like that. Uh-huh. And I can stab like norm. Whoa! It's oh, this is fast and aerodynamic. Oh, no. I only jumped up in the air because I was going downhill, I think. Okay. So, and I got Rising Slash. Okay, but it's not like a jump up. Oh, man, there's all these combos, too. Fucking love it. And I can hold B and charge. Ah, oh, it's cool. I like this weapon. Maybe it'll be another one of those ones I try out. It moves faster, which is what I always appreciate in a, in a weapon in this game. But, yeah. Uh, I'll probably keep this one into, like, the next hunt just to see how it actually, like, works. How it plays and works. We'll see. I mean, I can't avoid breathing it in. I don't know if there's an item that's supposed to, like, prevent you from getting damaged by the effluvium. I have not discovered it, but uh, it would be nice if there was one, because even if it's just a little bit of health you lose over time, it'll stack up if you're fighting something and it's not fun. Are you the Great Gyros? Yep, there you are. One task down. Now all we have to do is climb down. See, I remember the objectives of this mission so fucking well. Oh, you know, I'm saying that, but I bet when I'm trying to fucking find these Zora Magdaros traces, I'm just going to fucking fail entirely. Hold on, who knows what kind of monster- shit, I missed that last line of dialogue. Because I don't know if it's a thing of right here- oh, no, no, wait, no. I'm not looking for Zora Magdaros pieces. I think I need to see a Radobon, too. Uh, oh, no, I'm supposed to be giving them fucking doofy wrong names. I forgot about that. Uh, roly poly -oly. That's That's who we're looking for right now. I really hope that is what I'm doing here. Uh, but I think I need to go down to the bottom, too. I'm closer to the bottom right now. I know where Radoban's at, so... Maybe, for now, I'm okay in terms of, like, finding what I have to find. I don't know. We'll see. It's another one of those episodes where Gator Snapper won't be doing too much. Isn't this the same... Ah, oh, man. Every time I have a lance, this is just how it goes, isn't it? Okay, that's blocked off right now. Every time I have a lance, there's always an expedition mission where I don't do anything with it. Then I have to use it in the next one. I mean, at least... I really hope I get to go back to, um... I hope I get to go back to Astera so I can actually get an upgraded weapon. I mean, at this point, even, like, I get them up to, like, bone level 3, which is what I say whenever I make love to a woman. Uh, so I get them up to bone level 3, and at that point, even, I don't think that's, I don't think that's good enough at this point of, the, like, the monsters I'm going up to hunt. It's taking a lot longer than I anticipated it would take to switch out between all the weapons. I might have to do it differently, but I don't know, we'll see. Uh, and shit. I was acting all fucking high and mighty about knowing what the fucking do, but... Ah, it seems like I can't get to the bottom of the map yet, just judging by the one way I knew of in that area was blocked off. Try and find the other ones, but I don't know. For now, I'm gonna go to where I know Radaban is. Because I know these expedition missions typically follow, like, f going to figure out what types of monsters are around. The only one I don't have to worry about for now is Odadago, because Odadago is cutscene worthy. He comes in later. I don't remember. Oh, that's when we're tracking Zora Magdaros again. Everything's about tracking Zora Magdaros. The one cool Elder Dragon. Not really the one cool Elder Dragon, but he's the big one. And literally, he is the big one. That's why I wish, like, like, I wish more of the Elder Dragons were like that. Here we go. Here's what I had to do. Hello, cutscene. Hit me up with your knowledge. These are some tarred bones. Oh, nasty and shit. Uh-huh. Oh, no. There he is. Roly poly oly. He's here to kill us all in revenge for canceling his series. I don't think... Ro I don't know. Maybe Roly poly oly got canceled. That's one of those shows all the fucking people I know are like, Oh, what a classic fucking show of my childhood. Oh, shit. That thing's trying to kill me. Yeah, but I've never seen Roly poly oly. Probably because I never had cable growing up. And I just thought about it. I need new armor, too, don't I? Or I could just upgrade what I have with, like... 
fucking armor spheres make it real good. There we go. We spotted uh, this boy. I don't know. Oh, no. Yeah, that's all we had to do for this mission. Hunt a Rodaban. Oh, no. I didn't think we were actually doing a hunt. Now I've got a low-level fucking gun lance. Oh, no. That's gonna be great. I was not, not expecting this. Oh, boy. Do I still do the, like, yeah. Okay, I still do blocking. That's my main, main thing with this. All right, cool. I guess this is, uh, this is where we're at now. Cool. Oh, fuck. I'm all out of... I need to reload. How does one reload? Okay, well, I'm on the back of the monster. That's cool. It's easy to do that. How do I reload my sword? Uh, hey, uh, field team leader, I, I need your advice. I'm, I'm curious about something with this weapon. Uh, how does one reload it? There's probably, uh, it probably says, what, like, a button prompt for it. It's like, oh, burst fire! Burst fire! Boom, boom, boom! Yeah, ah, oh, it's cool. It's a cool weapon, I'll give it that. Like, I like, it stabs and then it fucking pops. It's good old time. Oh, God, I really need to figure out how to reload this thing, though. Maybe it's a... Th oh, God, what if I actually need to buy, like, ammo and whatnot? I am trying to break your bones, sir, but it is not working in my favor. I'm just gonna go for your legs for now. It'll be easier. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Didn't even get me, punk. Uh, hold on. Is there... Uh, uh, oh, shelling, charge shelling. Reload. Ah, I saw it for, like, the briefest moment. Was it after I hit... Quick reload. BRT. There we go. Oh, it's probably RT now that I think about it. Uh... Oh, no, wait, that's shield. What am I thinking of? Oh, boy. All right, you know what? Let's make some distance. Uh, I need to figure out how this fucking thing works. Oh, good. As Squid Mini... Yeesh. That's got to be a thing. Like, do they program it like that on purpose? <laughs> like, God damn it. It's so, so inconvenient. All right, come at me. Ooh, fuck. You knocking bones all over the place. All right, here. Boop. Get that tail. Get that face. Get that face. A little closer. Oh. All right, Squid Mini, I'm just going to leave this all to you. You seem like you're doing good. Good lord, how does one reload this fucking weapon? This is, like, the hardest thing so far. Like, I had a... Oh! Oh, I need to fucking shield and then do it. Okay. It's okay, everybody. I know how these things work now. <laughs> it takes some tr uh, trial and error, but I'll learn it. Oh, god, he's, like, flinging shit at me, too. What an asshole. Oh, man, this weapon's surprisingly, like, I... I it's surprisingly... Not, like, aerodynamic. Not as much as the, uh, my favorite weapon, the Insect Wave, but I still go in the air. Fair deal. Good old time. All right, Squid Mini, you, uh, you do your thing. I gotta sharpen, I guess, the flat part of this weapon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No, hold on. Forget. Weapons go back up. All right, what you doing, boy? All right, let's just, uh, yeah, 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 I'm gonna poke you in the little tail. Good lord. Bah! Okay, that did not. I was hoping that would, like, stun him a fair bit. Ow. I thought you were running off or something. Oh, he's doing his goop again. See, that this is the reason why I think, um, like, if you have the, if you have your boy wearing the, the fucking, like, this guy's armor, I think he's able to put them to sleep, but I never really noticed, um, like, armor pieces for your palico doing other things like that. I don't know. I really think I'm misusing, whoop, misusing the whole, uh, gun part of this weapon. Hold on. Is it, like, recommended... Ugh, is he running off? Is it recommended that I always charge it and, like, pop in a weak spot? Well, he's running off right now, anyways. Who cares? Alright, bye, Radaban. And I feel like... If there, if this weapon exists, like, what even is the purpose of using the normal lance? Like, this is just such a... Such a better... Ow, fuck. Such a better version. Like, a fuck... It's just the lance, but it also is a gun, so... Yeah. Like, shit, a normal lance just seems really disappointing in that case. Squint Mini, please stop following me. I need some time to reload. Oh, boy. I need to fix up my weapon. And, all right, you know what? This worked out pretty well. I'm just going to shoot him a little bit. He gets very tired, I'm guessing. Is he just... Is he just tired for... He's just tired. He's, he's very tired. Good Lord, he's just... He's not... Oh, no, there he is. Okay, good lord. That's the longest I've seen a monster just sitting there all wiped out. Felt bad for him. This one might be a little sick. We should probably get this one to a vet. See, that... I'd prefer that version of Monster Hunter. I guess I should play, like, the fucking nice version of Monster Hunter where, like, it's like you farm and collect the monsters instead of hunting them down to extinction and whatnot. I should play that version because it's all nice and friendly. Oh, hello. Radban, what are you doing? What are you doing? I think I found an exploit for him. If you're up to a, on a wall, his uh, his role is pretty worthless. And again, he's got more going for him than just his role. And I'm pretty sure if he comes at me head on, it's going to hit anyways. Yep. Yep. Get you over here by this here nasty flesh tree. Or I guess it's just a bone with goop on it. But here, come here. Come here, boy. 
I got I got words for you. Come on. Now come on now. Come on now. Hit the tree. Come on, dude. What the hell are you doing? I'll just fucking reload while I'm doing nothing. There we go. Yeah, that's how we do it. Now we poke and we poke and we pop. Pop them like a motherfucker. Oh wow, he, they get out of it a lot faster than I recall. Guess I'm just bad at this game. Well, found the way to exploit his role. I'll remember that for the fucking uh, other roly poly oly. Robo roly poly oly. I guess he's not really a robot, but I don't know. He's like metallic. Not even really metallic, but he's like the, pr the pre existing state of being metallic, I guess. Or I guess the natural state, rather. God damn it. Did not want to hit that. I just like how gentle the pokes are. It doesn't seem like it's as damaging as it is. That's why I was saying before, it just feels like it's one of those just pure tactics weapons. Like, you just poke them in, like, in small amounts until they bleed out and get all tired. That's why he was fucking exhausted for as long as he was. Poor little guy. Poor roly poly -oly. I'll fix that right up. Run away. I need time to heal. That's right, bitch. Uh... Pro advice for when you're healing. Wait for your, your character to heal on their own before you use a potion. Otherwise, you're just being inefficient. And I'm just being lazy. I wish I knew what each of the icons on the map meant. Like, when there's that little yellow eye, does that mean he's, like, weak? Or is he aware? Is he pissed? I would understand him being pissed. There's a lot of pissy things going on right here and now. Alright, well, at least he hasn't put his... Ugh, he hasn't put his armor back on, so... That's good for me. It's just a pain in the ass. Ah, oh, God, these fucking mosquitoes. Get out of here. Oh, he's is he limping? Oh, that's good news for me. I am making it up in the world. Ooh. All right, there we go. And what is this on the ground? Is that, is that a tarred bone I can, like, fucking get for research points? I, it's a big old fucking bone. That's what it is. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I didn't even have to use my mega potion. Oh, now I can save it for a better occasion. He is doing that move an awful lot. Excuse me, sir. I don't like it when you do that. I'm going to poke you. Nope. Squint Manny, you might want to... Yeah, you're, you're going to be unconscious for a while. This is a bad old time. All right. It's all good, though. I got your back. Oh! I wonder if it's better to always... Like, is it, way, is it recommended for this weapon, rather, to always have shots in, in the shell? And also, in that sense, to, like, save the shots for... Ow. Save the shots maybe for, like, hitting weak points. Or not weak points, but, like, when they're down, out of their luck. Yeah, good stuff like that. But actually, you know what? Since I got a hill going on here, let's, uh... Wee! Yeah, get on his back. Nope, nope. We're not getting on the hydra's back today. Squint Mini, now really isn't the time for a heal. Like, I'm not hurting that bad. Oh, man. And you're coming right for me with that. All right, well, work down the end, I guess. Hello. Hello, I thought you were running. Hey. Okay, I really want to harvest your tail, by the way. So if you could run, that would be great. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. I was, like, right under it. You know, maybe the reason why the weapon's still doing, like, adequate damage is also because I think as you level up, like, in any game when you level up, uh, your stats go up too. So, ooh, ow, one of the bone shards hit me. So I'm pretty sure my attack stats have gone up to balance out, like, shittier weapons. Oh, and there he goes running. He is weak. He is a weak old boy. This is great for me. Radabon, if you could just die, that would be great. I just want you to die. I'm gonna pop ya. Yeah, right to the crotch. The ultimate weak point. You know what? That's a good question I have for Monster Hunter. Why don't you see any genitalia on the monsters? Why can't you gender monsters? That's very, um... Actually, shit, is it sexist? I don't know. It's a monster. I guess there, uh, some would argue, like, it's still sexist. There's no female monster representation. Wait, no, there is. There is. I'm dumb. I forget. There's, uh, Rathians and Rathaloses. And, uh, I think they're really the only ones. But still, that's that's some representation. And I'm pretty sure the monsters still do have their genders. Gator Snapper's being a little sarcastic asshole. As is the norm. Ugh. So I'm pretty sure at this point, Radabon is going to reapply his tar armor, which is going to be a real pain in the ass. Uh, and if you want to shorten it down, you just call it Tarmor. Uh, if you're a professional, um, what's, his, what's it called, let's player Monster Hunter like me. Uh, ooh, wow, he really does blend in laying there. When I was like right over there, I didn't even realize it was him. I thought it was just a pile of shit. 
which it kind of is. Oh, uh, you know what? And since I have this now, I can wake them up. I can wake up the monsters in a fun way. I can just go like, huh, uh, uh, or not. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I, I can just go like, ha, ah, wake up, motherfucker. It's like that song. So they wake up. No, 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 make up. I don't know the words. I don't. I have like a coworker who is very, like, not angry at all times, but very stressed out at all times. And uh, whenever we're working in the back room in the morning, she'll listen to, like, that's one of the songs she'll always listen to. So it doesn't really help with her stress, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I don't know. It's a funny song. Oh, and he's reapplied his armor. It puts the armor on its skin or else it gets the gun lance again. God, I wish I, like, I wish the combo menu was, like, easier to look at in a quick moment. Like, in combat, I am trying to, like, not focus too much on, like, all the list of combos in the upper right-hand corner, but I kind of want to know, like, how did, how did I do the up move? Like, I jump up in the air for one of my attacks, and it'd be nice to do that, like, repeatedly. As someone who is typically always jumping with their weapons, the insect wave user, it'd just be nice to do that. I feel like with the gun lance, it's really easy to get into their, like, little fucking, uh, like, the little areas monsters have where you, they have a hard time hitting you. That might not be the case. And it might only apply to, like, monsters of certain types. Like the T-Rex style monsters, which, uh, what are they? They're called Brute Wyverns, I believe. So yeah, maybe it, I don't know, that's kind of interesting, though. Like, different weapon types that will have different ways of exploiting monster types. Like, Brute Wyverns are easy for gun lancers to exploit. I like that. I like that little head cannon I came up with. Ugh. Like, really, may I think it's just a brute wyvern thing in general, honestly. And maybe specifically Odogon, or Odobad, Od what's his name? Radabon. It might be specific to him, too, because, like, a lot of his moves seem like they're easy to just get out of the way of. Like, Radabon really isn't one of the hard monsters. You can fight, like, tempered ones, and but that's just... That's just them making the monsters harder. Like, it's still... You still have the same movesets and whatnot. I guess they do act smarter in certain scenarios. Like, this Radabon has been a lot easier than other Radabons I've fought. But that's because I'm playing them, like, fucking high-level tempered art Radabans. Battle time. And actually... We got. I wanted to fucking ask this before. So for a while now, there's been uh, uh, like fucking rumor of Witcher DLC for this game, and I've been waiting for the longest time for it to pop up on on Steam. And I know that they're trying to like actually match up their uh, releases for a console and PC. And I could have sworn at this point like they finally matched it all up, but is the Witcher DLC is already out on console, isn't it? Like I thought it was. So yeah commercials and everything for it. I guess, I don't know, maybe it's just not out yet, but I, I don't know. These, uh, all of my questions would be solved if I just did the research myself, instead of just questioning it and then never doing anything about, uh, about it. So I don't know. I need to actually confirm if Witcher DLC is out on console before I'm like, why isn't it out on PC yet? Because I heard the fucking, like, I saw the trailer for it forever ago, and I was like, oh cool, DLC. Like, I'm not a big fan of The Witcher or anything, like, Witcher 3, I know, is a really good game, and maybe I'd play it one day. Not at, I don't know. I wouldn't play Witcher 1. I tried playing that, like, forever ago on the channel, and it was just a... Not a bad time, but definitely a boring time. But yeah, I'm just waiting for more DLC for Monster Hunter World, because that's... the Monster Hunter World's, like, my, my bay. The bay of video games. Ow. The shield really is the best part. I fucking love it. I don't have to worry about having to dodge everything. I'm able to fucking react with a shield way quicker than I am with, like, having to dodge. Like, if, I get, if I'm in the middle of a combo and I'm trying to dodge, I never make my dodge in time. But I've been able to get my shield out plenty. It's also probably because this weapon's slow and it's harder to string combos together. Especially when your combo basically is just fucking poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke, explode. That's how it works. Hey! Just fucking accidentally hit it and killed it. Nice. Good old deal. Well, cool. Now all we have to... Oh, he is twitching. He is twitching a lot. That poor monster. Well, now all we have to do is return to the research base. So, I guess on that note, we're just going to end this episode right here. So, yeah, Gun Lance. Pretty fun weapon. I like it. I thought Lance was pretty cool, but really, I'm still, like, on the side of, like, what's the point of a Lance when the Gun Lance exists? So, I don't know. This is actually another one of those weapons that I might end up playing in the future, but we'll worry about that later. For now, it's going to end this episode right here. So, this has been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.